the Azul Byte Plus fanless Windows 10 mini desktop PC. Okay, before I do this, let me just go grab something. Just as I'm about to review this Azul, I just wanted to show off my other Acer Aspire Revo. This is my other mini PC, and I just wanted to show it off for comparison's sake. Uh, let me pop this thing out. There's a way to do that. Uh, uh, this is what that looks like. The Acer Aspire Revo. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but the Aspire Revo at the time was a revelation. It uh, has the Intel Atom chip inside of it. It's got an HDMI, so I could plug this into my TV, which at the time, again, like there was nothing else like this. This cost me maybe 500 bucks. Uh, look at the back here. On the back, it's got the HDMI. This has the NVIDIA Ion, so it does full 1080p. And I set this up at the time as my HTPC, and it was it was amazing. It is amazing. Um, so I've had this for a long time, and I, I loved it. I loved it. It's got a powerful little CPU in it. It's got a great video card in it, and it does awesome at just basically being my HTPC. You know what else this thing had, which was awesome, was this, I don't know if you can see that, that's an optical. So I could do optical audio at 5.1. Man, this thing, this thing at the time was a revelation. An absolute amazing thing. Now the Acer Revo, what is this? The R3700? You can look it up. This is old now. This is real old. I'm going to just check if this thing has a date on it. 2011. So it's five years old. Still, it's still it's useful. It is useful. But that brings me to this, this one and why I'm so excited about it. This is the Azul Windows 10 mini desktop PC. Okay. It's got some icons on the side here. I'm just going to do a quick unboxing. This this one, it's they sent me, Azul sent me this. I got to say that. Azul sent me this. This is not a paid review, but they did send me this. And they sent me a refurbished one. So the label was broken. I have not been inside of this yet. This is all new to me. But somebody has been inside of this before me. So I'm just going to just gonna take that plastic and get it plasticky thing off of it. This is the unboxing. It says Intel Atom, which is just like the other one, which is great. Uh, but this one obviously is a newer Intel Atom. This one, this one has the Z or Z8300 quad core. Z8300 quad core. This is the uh, you can see here. Oh, it's got all this stuff here. Windows 10 operating system, four gigs of RAM which is actually the same as I've got in that other one. Uh, four gigs of RAM at the time it was amazing. You couldn't get that much, but uh, this has a 32 gigabytes of memory. It's got the 1.4 gigahertz quad core Cherry Trail Atom. It's like a tablet uh, or mobile chip, uh, which is cool, uh, but it this isn't like a full powered PC. And you see really this, um, this is really like a single use uh, Windows 10 device. And we'll talk more about that later. And it says it's got dual monitor display capability, which is cool. Uh, just some stuff on the side of the box. There's a logo. Uh, one year warranty, which is, which is nice. And then the back of the box, there's nothing on it. So let's get inside. Cool, here you go. Here's the quick, quick guide. Some little stuff about it. Here's what you get inside. The quick guide, the power, and the Byte Plus. Um, so this is the four gig with 32 gig solid state. Oh, it's really tiny. It's, and it's also really heavy. I'm surprised both by how tiny and how heavy it is. Uh, this seems to have a second, it has a second quick guide in it. Uh, again, it's a refurbished one, so it's not that surprising that they fix it up and then put more stuff back in the box. Uh, and I assume over here, this is going to be the power adapter. Yeah, this is a power adapter. So we'll need that in just a second. Um, that's it. That's all that you're going to find inside this box. I said that's all you're going to find inside this box. Oh, this also has the... Huh, a little jumper 
I don't know what that little you see that? There's a little there's a little jumper in there. Auto run jumper 430. No idea what that is. Uh, and then this This is the power adapter and you just you're going to whack this in here like this. Oh, whoops. I'm going to do it like that. There you go. Put that together. Okay, just for just for comparison's sake. Just for comparison's sake. That to that. But I'm I want to know because this thing seems super heavy. This one weighs one pound, 14 ounces. Can you see that? One pound, 14 ounces. And this one weighs one pound, eight ounces. Oh, so it's just that it, it's like more dense because this feels super heavy. And this obviously weighs a little bit more, but it, because it's more spread out over space, that little guy feels really heavy. All right. All right, let's do a quick walk around here. So this is the uh, Byte Plus. These are pretty cool. I'm not sure why those are there, but that's pretty cool. It's got some screw holes in it, so that means I could probably mount this somehow. Um, I wonder if those are VESA compatible. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a walk around it, though. There's the front. That's the power button. Uh, on this side, there's nothing. On the back side, there's the little antenna, which is going to stick up. It's got a VGA, an HDMI, a USB 3. Oh, no, that's just a regular USB, even though that port is numbered number 3. You can see that's a little bit weird. You see it's got two USB, two USB, USB 1 and USB 2. And then that one, number 3, is a USB 2. It's, it's super odd. Why not just call that number 1? I don't know. It's got a power, it's got an RJ45 connector uh, in the HDMI there. It's got a headphone connector and it's got one of those lockable things. It also has a little space here for a micro SD. And let's just show that front off one more time just so you can see it, there you go. And on the underneath, it's got these two screw holes. Let's just turn that around. The two screw holes, well, that means I could put a camera mount or maybe a VESA mount on there. I'm not sure, but it's kind of neat that they've got those. You can see the power input is 12 volt, 1 amp. Okay, let's just read this. Warning, the Byte Plus uses a quad-core Intel Cherry Trail processor featuring Intel Burst technology. As a result, the speed and power consumption of the device will vary depending on its use. The surface of the product may get warm when running the CPU intensive programs, streaming high definition movies or playing 3D games. However, the Byte Plus is designed with a patented thermal dissipation system to prevent it from overheating while it is in use. Please exercise caution while handling the device, the device after prolonged use. Well, okay then. It's, let's be honest, it's pretty cute. Interesting. Uh, I just need now uh, some bits and pieces so that I can set this up because I'm going to boot this up with you guys live and we'll take a look at everything that this thing has to offer. Okay, so we've got the HDMI connected, the keyboard and the mouse, but the mouse needs a little mouse pad, I think. This book will do perfectly. Okay, so in a second, the screen is gonna go black. And when the screen goes black, that's because I have started, oh, I'm gonna have to turn. I've started the action cam. Let's start, here we go. All right, so there we have a Windows interface. It's, you know, pretty sprightly. There's no, uh, there's no major delays or anything on there. Solitaire took a few seconds to load. It's still, yeah, I guess it's not that super speedy. 
It's not, it doesn't appear to be very sluggish. You know, it's loading stuff. If you go look at uh, at the speed of this CPU, you'll know that it's not going to be the fastest CPU in the world. And that's totally not what it's uh, designed to be. This is really more of a single-use PC uh, that's designed pretty much to do one thing. And that one thing can be whatever the one thing you want it to be. For the case of this, I think they want... Uh, I, I think the reason that I think uh, I'm going to set it up as a, an HTPC is that they're also sending me a remote. Now, unfortunately, the remote didn't arrive at the same time as this little PC did. But, you know, it seems to be kind of working fine. Uh, as you know, because you guys are watching in full 1080p, uh, this is this is pretty much, you know, this is pretty much as good as it gets, to be honest. So it did just boot up, but look at this. This is in Celsius. So I'm just taking a picture of the desk here. That little dot is 24 Celsius. This thing is 25 Celsius. That's what, like four degrees Fahrenheit difference? But you know, it's just probably from me touching it a little bit too. 26 now. All right, well, that has been the Azul Windows 10 Mini PC unboxing. Uh, there's going to be two videos upcoming with this. One video is when I set it up as an HTPC uh, with Cody. I'm not doing that today. And the other is the Raspberry Pi comparison. This one rings in at 180 bucks. And if you're going to use it in HTPC, is it really that much better than using a Raspberry Pi 3? Only time will tell, so I'll let you guys know exactly how that goes. But so far, I'm pretty impressed. Plugged it in, it works, it's good. What more can I say? It's got an Intel quad core 1.4 gigahertz, four gigs of RAM with 32 gigs of storage, which are solid state, so it runs pretty zippy. Cherry Trail is an Atom uh, CPU, which is uh, designed for tablets and mobile phones. So it's not, you know, it's not the most sprightly thing in the world, but still, I think it's going to work pretty good for what it is. I'm really excited to get it going and to in integrate it into my home theater system. Uh, it looks like it's going to work out great. Thanks again to everybody for tuning in today. Don't forget to press like, don't forget to press subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. In the About section below, you can find relevant links to this and to everything else you can see on my desk. If you haven't already, you can, of course, support this channel by either buying me a cup of coffee in the About section below or by supporting this channel on Patreon. Thanks to everybody who does support this channel. Really do appreciate it. See you guys again soon.